so the second day of Paris, four days which were continuing, it says, starting from the pa uh, place Charles de Gaulle, Metro Etoile, Charles de Gaulle, lines 1, 6, and 9, place de l'Etoile and the Arc de Triomphe. The place de l'Etoile, Le Etoile, owes its name to the star Le Etoile, formed by the 12 avenues which radiate from the Arc de Triomphe. The inauguration of the Arc, 50 meters high and 45 meters across, took place in 1836. Uh, but the rest of the place was not finished until 1854. The Arc was, or Arch, was uh, erected in honor of Napoleon I's army and is adorned with four famous low relief La Marseille by Ruth, the Triomphe by Cortot, uh, Resistance and Pi by Atex. Uh, that's one, two, three. Um, okay, and then since November 11, 1920, the anniversary of the armistice which ended the First World War, the body of the unknown soldier has lain under the vault of the Arc de Triomphe in memory of war victims. There is a museum inside which traces the museum's history, or the monument's history. The Place de l'Etoile, uh, they numbered the parts, so this is shaped like a star. And I guess it's for then we start. Okay, so one place de la Concorde, which is over here. Then towards two, it's counter, no, it's clockwise, one through twelve. Um, two is towards Pont, Pont de la, la Alma, that's two. And then three towards Trocadero and four towards Trocadero. So each number is an avenue. So and then five is towards Boy de Boulon as well as six towards Boy de Boulon, Bolone. And then seven uh, on this side. Now on the left is um, towards Port um, Porte Mailot Palais de Congress, the defense. And then A over here is towards Porte de Ternes. Nine towards Porte Champeret. Ten towards Place Wagram. 11 towards Parc Monsieur and 11 and 12 is up here and towards the north towards St. Augustine Boulevard Houseman So there's your um, Place de l'Etoile and the Arc de Triomphe Once you take all those avenues on all those 12 directions let me know what happens. <laughs> uh, Arc de Triomphe is shown here in close up with the flag so you can see the details and the statues and the, 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 the decor uh, on
on the monument itself. The grave of the unknown warrior here. With flowers. Looks like my house. <laughs> Not because it's a grave, just because it has a lot of flowers and I like to dry flowers. And and I like those particular flowers that they have there. And then um, they have like the white lilies, uh, these red ones, these little white daisies, and the purple ones. I like those flowers. Um, okay, then low relief, the death of Marsu. And the Arc de Triomphe illuminated. We have a mo moving shot here, I guess. Showing the at night, the cars and such. Um, I don't know. Th these shots are not like current. They're but they're not like very clear. Like I'm sure they could have better shots. Of these. This is, I guess, one of the reliefs on the, the actual uh, monument. So, yeah. Um, and then more, uh, these are shown on their low relief, the Triomphe by Cortot, uh, and La Marcella by Rude, F. Rude, Rude or something, low release, R-U-D-E. This is the Avenue de Champs Elysees. Um, in the continuation of the Champs Elysees, beyond the Arc de Triomphe, Okay, is the new business quarter. A mass of tower blocks rising to over 30 stories, visible several miles away. Now, what is the new business quarter? A mass of tower blocks rising. Okay, maybe they're referring to the buildings. So, yeah, I mean, they gotta have buildings, right? The, the Champs LEC Spine Night. The Champs LEC, one of the most famous avenues in the world. The Champs LEC is runs between the place de la Etoile on the Place de la Concorde. It is the first section of a long road which continues in a straight line past the Arc de Triomphe down the avenues de la Grande Army and finishes at La Defense. The avenue is in two sections separated by a beautiful circular crossing. The Rhone Point des Champs Elysees, which is 140 meters across and adorned with fountains, from the Etoile to the Road Point, the avenue is 80 meters wide, okay, with shops on both sides. So like the di diameter, where we? I guess they're talking about like the diameter, like from each, from the end to end of the circle, is 80 meters, something like that. Um, between the round point and the place de la Concorde, there are lawns and flower beds, and uh on both sides of the avenue. Uh, to the left, 
is the Palais de l'Elysée, the president's official residence, Moms and and on the right are the Grand Palais and the Petit Palais, with the Avenue Winston Churchill between them. It says, walk down the Avenue Winston Churchill. I, I don't want to say been there, done that. I've never been to France, but I grew up in the USSR, and this is very similar. Um, the, the way they build things, it's not too far geographically. They have a lot of the same kind of buildings and principles, I guess you could say, when they made the city. Um, the Palais de Elysee, the Grand Palais, and the Petit Palais. These were built for the International Exhibition in 1900. The Grand Palais, with its 240 meters long facade entered from Avenue F.T. Roosevelt, is still used for various exhibitions. Part of the building is the permanent site of the Palais de la Découverte, de where recent scientific discoveries are displayed. Découverte, Palais de la Découverte. The Petit Palais shows various collections bought um, by, by the city of Paris. Paintings, prints, um, furniture, art, treasures of various periods. This is the Rond Point de Champs at Lisi. These nice shots are really nice. Okay. The Grand Palace. Go it says we'll go back to the to the um, Champs Elysees and walk as far as the Place de la Concorde. The Palace de la Concorde. At the entrance to the pa uh, Palace de la Concorde, on either side, or Place de la Concorde, on either side of the Champs Elysees are the Chevu de Marly, so called be because the horses were brought here from the Chateau de Marly in 1795. I like the fountain. Uh, the Place de la Concorde covers an area of 84,000 square miles. Meters. <laughs> Not miles. <laughs> That's too big of an area. Meters. So this is the Palais de l'Elysée. There's guards in front. Little tiny guards all around. And this is the little palace. It's actually lovely, but for the traffic, you know, there's always going to be traffic. It's, it's hard, it's hard to see sometimes with all the traffic, you know. So it was designed, we're referring to uh, the Place de la Concorde. The Place de la Concorde was designed by Gabriel, begun in 1748 and completed in 1763. It was first called Place Louis the Fifteenth uh, and planned as a worthy setting for the royal statue. Uh, Louis the Sixteenth was guillotined there on. 21st and 21st of January 1793 and the square was named Place de la Revolution until 1795 when it received the name Place de la Concorde for the first time. Uh, it was renamed Place Louis the 15th 
in 1815, then placed Louis XVI from 1826 to 1830. The 1830 revolution renamed it Place de la Concorde. In 1836, the obelisk, which is 23 meters high, was erected in the center. This came, that's the pointy thing right here. Like was up. Uh, so then, uh, in the four corners, uh, excuse, me, uh, the obelisk um, was erected in the center. This came from an Egyptian temple built by Rames the uh, second in the 13th century B.C. If I'm correct, at luxury and um, was offered by Muhammad Ali to King Charles X. Uh, there is a fountain at each side of the obelisk in the four corners which is shown here. The obelisk at Luxor and the Place de la Concordia is shown right here. There is a fountain. There is a fountain at each side of the obelisk. In the four corners of the square are eight statues representing the major cities of France. Along the left side are two mansions, magnificent examples of Louis the Fifteenth style by Gabriel. They are the Ministry del Ministere. I. Them de la Marine, and the Hotel Creon. The horses of Marley, sculpted by Custu for the watering place of Marley, stand today at the entrance. Uh, at the entrance and to the square near the Champs Elysees to correspond with the statues of winged horses, uh, the Chavio, Alice de Mercure, and Renomi. By, carved by Coisevo and placed at the entrance to the Tuileries Garden. So here we have a, a like a summary picture showing uh, a lot of different points. Avenue de Champs Elysees on the far left. And over here, then Chavu de Marly over here. Saint Augustine is the one with the dome over here, the cathedral. Uh, Ambassade de Etats Unis over here. Ob Obelisk de Luxor over here. Rue Royale. Over here, Ministere de la Marine. Over here, Jardin de Tuileries. Over here, and Madeleine. Far right, like you can hardly see it. It's the, on the far right building. So I can't really zoom in. You have to just uh, look from far. Because it's hard to zoom in, you know, sometimes you lose your um, vision. Okay, keep going. Place de la Concorde is shown here. Another uh, angle at night. It's very nice shot here. It says the Tuileries Gardens, 
in the 16th century while a new place was being built next to the Loire, Catherine de' Medici had an Italian style garden designed. The Tuileries Palace was destroyed during the Parisian uprising of the Commune 1871, but the Tuileries Gardens, which had already been transformed in the 17th century by Le Notre, under construct instructions from Colbert, one of Louis the Fourteenth ministers, are today a special example of the French Garden. A French Garden, two terraces. Le overlook the scene, the terrace du Bord de Louis, and on the other side, on the Rue de Rivoli, la terrace de Foulon. Uh, on the right of the entrance from the place de la Concorde is the Orangerie where many short exhibi exhibitions are displayed. On the left is the Jeux de Palmet, which houses a permanent exhibition of Impressionist painting. painting. The garden, um, the Jeux de Palmet, is a uh, And then the gardens are laid out with lawns, flower beds, statues, trees, fish ponds. The lure. The lure stands at the far right, or the far end, excuse me, um, and of the two Laris gardens. The palace and gardens of the lure cover more than 40 acres. The, um, they are the result of almost continuous work from the 17th 